of that on the Team 17 logo. Got baby recording stuff. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Work. There it goes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hopefully over the age of 18, because I tend to swear a lot, welcome to Blasphemous 2. I had meant to get an earlier start on this, but I was on a family trip out of, out of state, so I couldn't get it going. Um, I have played The Last Blasphemous. I haven't finished it yet, but I've seen enough Let's Plays to know like pretty much the whole story. Um... Uh, a, sorry, as a text, forgot to put that on silent. Okay, it's on silent now. <clears throat> uh, I played the last blasphemous. Uh, the story before the start of this one was the penitent one um, went into the actual realm, I suppose, of the high wills themselves uh, and slayed them with the assistance of Crisanta of the Wrapped Agony, who I believe is still alive, to the best of my knowledge, along with Dea Gracias, who is just the boy. Uh, and after that, the Penitent One was entombed. I can't recall if Chrysanthus took his sword or not. I think so. But um, after that, in the later scenes, the heart that you see up there started growing with something growing inside it. Uh, there were a lot of game theories going around, like that was the Penitent One being reborn as the new High Will, uh, to, you know, be the steward, lord and steward of the land around him. Uh, and some other people believe that that was a replacement god being born, because something has to be maintaining that seat, and the Penitent One himself is dead, and could not take that seat. Had he survived, maybe, I don't know. Actually, no, no, no. I think he died specifically because he was brought back by the High Wills, and with the High Wills gone, he, his, the power sustaining him was no longer there. I should start the pilgrimage. <coughs> uh, was no longer there, so he died of that. And was get buried with full honors, and the lands were free of guilt. In the heart, everything takes root solidarity. Footprints without companions are left behind, like in water or in the ocean steps. Miguel Hernandez. The Sorry. eternal dawn of our penances heralds its imminent end. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love the animation. Crisanta, what Each happened? Each was born to put an end to the other. Now both await. But while yours slumbers, mine remains vigilant. Chris May the miracle bear witness to this oath. By which I remain here for our long-awaited meeting. Wounded by the silence of this secret There's the citizens. Then, oh. As the city of the blessed name rose up, born on the shoulders of three mighty statues, the resounding beat of a great heart could be heard emanating from the clouds, thundering like the knell of an unseen church bell, raised higher than any other, enchanting us all to lift our gaze aloft in an ascetic call to prayer. For the miracle was about to give birth to a child. That was awesome. I could f I could feel the heartbeat on my gamepad. Is that the boy? That's the other boy now. It's the original boy, the lad. I love the lad. Everybody loves that lad. Five minutes ahead of it. 
timer going, making sure that I'm not going too much over 30 minutes. Keep the weather eye on that. But what happened to the boy? Where'd his hand go? Pretty sure he had his hand. Oh, yes. Buy the Ari flasks. Press Y to consume the bio flask. Probability. These flasks are, refi are refilled by anything before they do. I think I remapped a lot of my buttons. Okay, so I guess I can control with the... Oh, sweet, I can teabag on enemies. Is there a... Nope, oh, shouldn't have done that. Do I not have a jump button anymore? I like having a jump button. Okay, I guess I don't need it at this point, because, yeah, I can... Using the, the left joystick, I can move around, or the buttons themselves. But up doesn't seem to work right now. And as I recall, there were a couple of weapon options this time. Instead of purely the, uh, the sort of guilt, now we have this thing, which is, oh, now I have a jump button, now jump works, okay, it just seems to be standard slashy slash, this, oh, yo, I can aim now, oh, nobody's getting away from me. This is your standard light damage, light but fast. That's probably pretty balanced. And this, as I recall, is likely going to be your heavy but slow. Oh, yes, please. Nice. Oh, this one doesn't have a charge attack. Neither do these ones. Okay, so I can either be Beef Master, Slabby Stashy Boy, or Standard Issue. Because this one still allows me to block. I think this one does too. Yeah, this one does. And I remember that this one doesn't block, but it has flame damage instead. Which I don't want to keep doing. Great. Yeah, I think I'll probably stick with standard issue, medium speed, medium damage. Because I'm not a, I like fast, but I also like to be able to hit shit. I can just... Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to remap these buttons. Alright. Thou hast chosen thine companion on this pilgrimage. Only the miracle knows when thou shalt meet again in the presence of her two sisters. Okay, so apparently I shall be able to switch my weapons again at some point, or be able to hot swap between them, or change which one, I'm not sure. Probably hot swap, because it wouldn't make sense to let you upgrade one and then just give her to the others. Um, but at a later point in the run. Or I might just unlock new weapons, aside from these. But it does say two sisters. So, probably these three. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna be here all day if I if I keep thinking about, ooh, but this one, this one would be good. Oh, this one would be nice too. Uh, no. Medium damage, medium speed. Standard issue. Can't go wrong with standard issue. Everybody likes standard issue. Oh, the other two are on there. Okay, here's my thing. Arsenal of Penitence. Yes, I did get two, two of the other two. Rodego Al Alba. Relics of Contrition. Not sure what that middle thing is. Sorrows. Health 50. Mana 150. Immaculatus. Don't know that one. I'm guessing it's like purity or something else. There might be experience. Not sure. No idea what that's on the bottom. I know that actually here thing. This thing, these are the children of moonlight. I guess somebody caught them again. 
unless that's not the Children of Moonlight, and it just looks really similar. That's probably map completion. Oh, this one. Oh, Maculatus. Oh, that's... Oh, never mind. That's completion. These are the Sorrows still. Everything. God, I'm making the mistake that everybody does in my work. Oh, I can't even check other things. Accessibility. Preparation. Okay. Remap my controls. Gotta remember that was about 1435. All right, I'll, I'll cut that bit out just so nobody else has to watch it because I was doing that for a few minutes. I just find it more comfortable to remount my controls. I'm definitely going to be able to get up there at some point, but I don't have any sort of extra movement abilities. And I do like the wall climbs. I actually might have to swap that. That's why it took me so long last time. Me being the absolute genius I am, forgot to hit apply. There you go. There we go. That's what updates. Uh, rescuing before a prey dew will restore your health and flasks. It is the only way to save your progress. Upon dying, it will reappear at that last prey dew you visited, and all the progress you have made since that point will be lost. To kneel before one whenever you can. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be able to get up there at some point. Need some sort of double jump. Or like the blood perpetuated and sand thing from the first one. And I'm at 16 minutes. I'll give it an extra, maybe five. Oop. I was thinking, shit, we've got a helicopter coming in? Wow, I am out of practice. Straightforward. Greedy. That wasn't so bad. Just gotta know what I'm looking at. A thousand years later, defeat the faceless one, Chisel of Oblivion. Who's this gentleman? Oh, am I gonna do the thing again? Damn it, I forgot to move that out. Sorry, that's my bad. Marks of Martyrdom, so that's what they're called. Is that like a like a level up point thing? Do we not use we might use that and the Tears of Oblivion at the same time again? Can I No, he, okay, this guy's dead. That guy that lady's face is off. There, and standard issue thing. Break that. Everything comes down. I am outside! And oh my god. I'm in Arizona. 
points to anyone who gets that reference. The baby is... Hot lady! Penitent one, returned from the tomb, and walking among the mourners, your awakening is now written on the eternal pages. Thank you, hot lady. Anantiada is my name, and I hail from the heavenly mountains on high, the seat and the beginning of all that is holy, so that I may address you. Look upon me thus as a preceptor in this enterprise, hailing from the highest of all seats. Okay. Penitent one, the miracle shall give birth to a new child in a great heart descended from the clouds that watches over the ancient city of the blessed name from on high. You must reach it to stop its birth. Okay. But on this ascending path of penitence, the arch confraternity awaits you. Those penitents that the miracle itself took as its sentinels now await your arrival. Orospina, the confraternity of embroiderers. Benedicta of the confraternity of endless orison. Odon of the confraternity of salt. Lesmes of the confraternity of incorruptible flesh. All under the dictate of the oldest penitent, the first among them all, who was Eviterno, father of the penitents. That last name's a bit on the nose, don't you think? Penitent one, the miracle has instilled three regrets in the consciences of three of its guardians. Only by revealing them shall you achieve the humiliation of the sculpted figures that hold up the city, allowing you to ascend to its upper reaches, and finally to the Great Heart. Look for the Guardians. Okay, nice of them to let me know where I'm going. Let's see what else Lady has to say. Oh. Only by revealing the regrets guarded by the three guardians can you ascend to its upper reaches and at last hasten towards the great heart. Alright, just doing what the hot. Bye, hot lady. I'll miss you. Alright, that's saved. That's, yeah. Sorry, I have, uh, my hands get sweaty, so I bought a pair of golf gloves. Uh, I specifically bought them to play VR games, but, uh, it should work just fine on here. I'll take them off if my button pressing's affected. And let me know if the any volume is too loud or isn't loud enough, I can change it around as needed. Ruego al Alba. Ruego al Alba is the most balanced vers most balanced weapon in your arsenal. Behind its circorserated blades lies a versatile weapon, able to combine a powerful attacks without giving the enemy a moment's respite. A blood pact will allow the enemy's wounds to heal the wounds of whoever wields it. Ruego al Alba. Weight of sin in the air. Press down RB. Parry is right trigger. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know you're there. Now, what the hell is a blood pact? I'm not seeing any healing here. Gotta work on my parry timings. But that is a lot of parry damage. Ow. I 
change these guys around. They just used to smack the shit out of you. But I suppose that's for parry training. Oh, now they're actually coming after you. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, I was stupid. I should have healed. I take full responsibility for that scenario. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Upon dying, guilt fragment remains anchored in the world. The level of guilt rises. Second. There we go. Level of guilt rises, reducing the gain of fervor and your defense, but increases the tiers of atonement and martyrdom points gained. Collect guilt fragments to partially recover, or find someone who can ease your burden. Okay, so... I imagine this is somewhat like... Oh, okay, now it's called Afflictum. So that's a level of guilt. And the first one, I'm guessing, was Innocence or Purity. <coughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so I'm guessing this is somewhat like the... Uh... Damn it. Click me. Uh, again. The... Uh... God, I can't English right now. The Tendency System. Sorry, from uh, Demon Souls. Sorry, I can't English and think at the same time for some reason. Hidden area! Can't do shit. I see golden treasure over there. I'm gonna get it one day. As soon as I figure out how to open that thing. Ooh, what are you? Petaneras. Verses and chants. Press LT to recite a quick prayer. Combine LT down and LT to invoke a powerful prayer. So I actually, like, get into pray and prayer and pray. Okay, so... Petaneras uh, to the burial of the lights invokes flames from the very earth itself, which inflict fire damage. Okay, sure. Chant to the friendly flame that naught could extinguish. Heavy clods of soil covered it, and deprived of shadow, it now sleeps in repose. Huh. Ah, oh, so there are quick verses, and then there are full prayers. But there's another enemy over that way, which I would very much like to kill, but I would also like to... Oh, that's nice. Oh, it looks like the, uh... Not sure what that is. Uh, but it looks like the, uh... Repost thing actually affects multiple enemies if you can get it all. 800 tiers of atonement. That is definitely something to be jumping on there, but I can't get it yet. But I will take extra cash all the live long day. Off we go. But I'll be back for that door. Rest assured. Choke on it. That's gonna have to kill somehow. Ooh, or maybe, maybe, maybe. No, okay. I'll have to kill it somehow. Oh, there's something up there. Oh! Baby! Not sure what that is, but I got it. God damn it. I really gotta be careful how I'm holding this. They didn't have the up aiming thing, I don't think, in the last game. Or you had to be really specific about it. I think I'll actually use the arrow keys. Oh, shit.
I don't know what that was, but it's dead now. And put a five minute timer on. Going a little bit over the 30 minute mark, but I'm also going to cut out that section where I was doing stuff. Sorry, lady, I scared away your pigeons. What's up here? Okay, once I get the stick thing, I guess it was like, the stick in the walls thing, I can do that, I suppose. A well? Oh, thank goodness. Can't get that one. Oh, please tell me this is exactly what I think it is. This is not exactly what I think it is, god damn it. Welcome to my most humble workshops, which is a flood of sawdust, glue, and fun. Lovely. I'm gonna call you Leonardo. Montagnes is my name. Too bad, your name's Leonardo Master now. Alright, fine, Montagnes. One of those who, with steady hand and silver chisel, patient carve out from the wood the faithful shapes of our true saints so that they might be contemplated and revered by the devout does this guy have a fake arm because it looks like he has a fake arm no trace of light remains in my glassy eyes yet still i know what thou seekest and needest for are we not all penitents on this earth in the summer the penitent one spent like, I don't know, probably like three days, if I'm being honest, like time frame wise, to get rid of all the stored up guilt in the entirety of, of also, yeah, I've heard it pronounced Sivstodia and Custodia, so I'm just going to go with Custodia, just because that's easier to say than Sivstodia. Custodia, to clear out all the guilt from Custodia so people could live out their lives like a normal person and not be obsessed with, oh, I'm so guilty, I deserve pain and punishment, make everything on fire. Oh god, I'm on fire, why did I pick this? Uh. The miracle proclaimed that, as my profession was that of a master sculptor, I should carve in wood the figure of the most blessed lady as my last work. Okay. Penitent one, I beg you <clears throat> help me in this, my final piece of work. Seek out for me the finest chisels and tools, the most wondrous of pigments, and the most delicate of varnishes. And I can sculpt for thee figures that will fit into the altarpiece you carry on your back. Like this very one I offer to thee here. Please accept this as a gesture of my unending gratitude. Thanks. Should I be insulted? It is but the first piece of many more I shall carve for you. Now I shall place it upon the altarpiece upon your back, and you will feel its grace. But also, it's burden. The hands of the miracle will guide me in the carving in accordance with the memory you bring me. May they guide thee as they guide me, penitent one. The memory? Oh my god, is this gonna be like freaking boss weapon shit? Visit the Sculptor's Workshop whenever you want to equip figures in your altered piece of favors. Each figure confers powerful benefits onto the penitent one, and you can react in, and can react in mysterious ways when placed next to others on the altar piece. You can increase the number of slots in your altar piece and favors in exchange for marks of martyrdom. Okay. Open. There's the traitor. Increases physical damage afflicted. 10% damage increase. I will happily take that. This capacity. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to that until I know what other things are. No items to give, and mementos, I'm guessing, from other stuff. Okay. Alrighty. 
Moltanias. Moltanias. I can't remember how his name is pronounced. I'll ask him later. Yeah, I thought there was like a thing where it was like a jumping puzzle, break that thing, set up a ladder to save your progress so you can get back up more easily, and do your stuff. And that's that one for this one. I will leave it here and pick it up right in the next episode. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't, don't do that and ridicule me mercilessly in the comments. Whatever it makes you happier. Um, and uh, thank you all for tuning in. I'll be right back in the next episode.